Welcome back to Skinny Brew Rugby guys, it's week 11 of Super Rugby and yeah, there's two big derbies, there's the Hurricanes versus the Chiefs and the Stormers versus the Bulls, I'm very excited for that one. If you like the content in this video, slap a like on it, please pr uh, press the subscribe button here below and yeah, join the Super Brew Bulls um, in the description below. Let's get into the first game, the Crusaders versus the Lions. Usually. There's much more um, anticipation for this game. It's a much more um, mouth-watering affair. But this year, not not as much. The Lions have their record this season, five from nine, so it's not that great. The Crusaders, they are looking invincible. Can they even be beaten? They were beaten at one time, but further, they just don't look like anyone can beat them. Uh, the Lions have their season turned around now again after that win against the Chiefs. Uh, it's a tough ask to beat the Crusaders at home. Uh, the Crusaders have four from four at home this season, so it's going to be a difficult one. But it is their first game against the South African side this season. And the South Africans play a bit differently. Uh, it's a more of a strong forward play. Uh, but the Lions traditionally are the more expansive side of the South African teams. They don't play a traditional brand of South African rugby. Then Yankees, he's at 12 again. I'm excited to see that. He is a good... Oh, he did play well last week at 12. Reynolds are, is at 10. He, he's impressed me in the Curry Cup at number 10. So I, I'm excited to see this one. Mahunga for the Crusaders, he's been looking great this season. Uh, he's just a shoe in for that all black spot. We all know he's the second choice all black. Uh, the Lions, they weren't convincing in that victory over the Chiefs in the second half. They got the lead and from there on, nothing further. The Chiefs had a fight back. The battle between the number eights in this one is going to be good. Reed versus Whiteley. The last three games. For the Crusaders, the Crusaders, they've beaten the other team with more than 20 points. So, for me, I think the Crusaders are favourite in this game. I think the Crusaders will win by 14. The next game is the Sunwolves versus the Highlanders. Uh, the Sunwolves this season is 2 from 9, but the Highlanders 3 from 9, so they're pretty even on that respect. Um, the Sunwolves had, have had a lot of narrow defeats this season so they've actually been a little bit better than the Highlanders who has been thumped a couple of times. Warren Wasayoko for the Sunwolves, the, the loose forward is playing at number 12 again this season, uh, this week. Last week he had a great game at number 12. I think that first try he scored was the, the try of the week and yeah it was a great one. Oh he didn't score it, he made a try assist where he just ran a long way to make that one. Uh, the Sunwolves had a really narrow defeat against the Hurricanes last week, but the season at the moment is 0 from 5 at home. So they're not very strong at home, but they have only 1 2, so what do you expect? Then the Highlanders, they beat the Blues last week by 12. Um, it was a very good game. The Highlanders were clinical, they pounced on all the mistakes of the Blues. So if the Sunwolves are going to make handling errors, there's going to be an issue for them. Ben Smith, he's been rested for this week. And Aaron Smith is back in in the starting spot. And he needs to take charge of that game. Sunwolves beat one New Zealand side narrowly and then lost to two. So I think they could do it. Um, but if I weigh up the teams and the Sunwolves look a little bit more dangerous if you look at all the head-to-head -head contests. I think the Sunwolves might win this one by one. Then we go to the Hurricanes versus the Chiefs. It's a big New Zealand derby and I think it's gonna be a great one to watch. The Hurricanes this season, six from nine. It's a very good season so far. The Chiefs, three from nine. They just had a little bit of a turnaround after that previous draw against the Hurricanes. Then they had three wins on the trot and then after that, they lost again last week, but can they bounce back from that? I'm sure they really want to win again. Uh, that loss against the Lions was just a shocker. Then the Hurricanes, they had 
five from six victories. They're more experienced and the team is a little bit more settled than the Chiefs side who is actually quite young. Most of the guys are pretty new to the setup. But the history between the two sides slightly favor the home side. Uh, but yeah, it's 50-50. But I think how the season has been going, the Hurricanes has been doing well. Both of the Barretts are back in the team. So I think the Hurricanes will win by 12. Then it's the Waratahs versus the Sharks. Both of the teams have four wins this season. The Sharks, they're consistently inconsistent. They're just struggling this season. Um, there's a lot of talk for them on number 10. Should it be De Priya? Should it be Bosch? To me, De Priya is my favorite, but De Priya is out of form. So I think this switch up is needed. The backline for the Waratahs is just so dangerous. Even if they shuffle it around, it doesn't matter. Anyone can play any position. The recent history between the teams, the Waratahs has the edge. The Sharks haven't beaten the Waratahs in Sydney since the year 2000. So that's a lot of history behind that one. It's the first game on tour for the Sharks. And they've been better away from home this season. But this is the first game they actually had to fly over to Australasia. So I'm not expecting good things for them on this tour. Hey, I hope I'm wrong, but I can't see it being differently. Um, the Waratahs will really need Hooper to lead their charge. If he does, I see a win for the Waratahs by nine. Then it's the big South African derby, the Stormers versus the Bulls here at Newland. It's just a massive one always. Um, it, the Stormers are another team that's very inconsistent along with the Bulls. They've actually had a very up and down season. If you read their score card, it's a win-loss, win-loss um, and it just continue, continues like that. The Bulls haven't won at Newlands since 2011, so that's also a very long time. The Bulls have had 5 from 8 this season, but they haven't toured yet. So they might look like the best South African team out there but at the moment they are they are the only team that hasn't flown over to Australasia for a tour. Uh, Dwayne Vermeulen for the Bulls, he's playing his old team again. I'm excited to see that. I've always been a massive Dwayne Vermeulen fan so I'm excited to see how he's going to carry that ball forward because he's going to give it his best shot. Paul Art and Creel have had a great season for the Bulls. Uh, the Stormers I think they're gonna come out blazing for this game. They need to have that win. Um, so it's a risky decision on my part, but I think the Stormers can win by two. Then the last game is the Jaguars versus the Brumbies. Both teams have four wins this season. The Brumbies away record is one from five, um, but that one victory was last week against the Stormers at Newlands. Um, and they just had an amazing defensive effort in that game. There were so many tackles for them. A guy like Rory Arnold, he made 24 tackles in that one game. It was just a great effort from all of the guys on the field. Uh, the Jaguars, it's their first Australian team they're playing this season. Um, their home record at the moment is 2 from 4. So showing there's a 50-50 chance here as well that they could lose. But yeah, both teams are looking for um, third in a row. Both of them have had two games that they won now. But the defensive effort from the, the Brumbies, if they continue playing like that, that could work against the Jaguars, who like to play expansive, broken play. So if you can break that attack apart, you're just going to push them back and eventually force an error and score a try. Uh, the... Brumbies did win in Argentina in 2017, so they can do it. Guys like Miotti and Orlando in recent weeks has been great for the Jaguars, so we have to look out for them. For me, this one, it's also a difficult one, but I think the Jaguars has the edge in this one. I think they'll win by 14. Okay, guys, that's it for the week. Uh, please subscribe if you like the content, like the video if you do. Uh, you can check here on my left for the fantasy video. It's going to be somewhere over here. And then remember to join the Super Brew Pools if you haven't. Cheers.